uh, TOC helps you identify the most effective point to work with more flow. If you're talking about Blue Dolphin and the Blue Dolphin network, then it's based on two columns, it's self-organization and TOC. Mm -hmm. So um, if you talk about TOC, the theory of constraints, how would you sum it up in its essence? Uh, well, to, to me, and I was also sp speaking with Ed uh, about this, because I guess the most things what we do is we just have conversations. Uh, that's the main work we do. Um, and, you know, and then people do amazing work. Um, so I think that uh, TOC helps you identify the most effective point to work with more flow. So mm -hmm. it's really identifying. So what could we do that gives us, you know, the most, the most kind of, what do you call it, thrust or this initial thing, which is, okay, now it sets something free. Um, and and then of course you will find a new one because then something else will 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 limit you. But you've just then solved this one thing and you're 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 off to the next. And that gives a lot of energy, uh, and it's a lot of fun. Now you said, hey, now we're further than before. So what's next? People get you know get interested and and have more energy. You say, okay, you know we've we've done this now. So um, uh, and now I want to do this, or I'm running into something else. It's like okay, great, let's look at that. So Vincent, uh, we are already at an end of this interview. Thanks a lot for that. Um, at the end, how do you help people? So um, how can people reach you and what do you have to offer? Well, yeah, we're so we're do it together architecture. So what we do is we mainly work with uh, with IT organizations and normally not larger than like, let's say the team or team we work with, not larger than 65 people or the, the unit can be then split in. In, so it's not, you know, we're, we're normally not really dealing with the whole organization, which sometimes, you know, Blue Dolphin does. Is that let's, you know, do large scale change and do the portfolio management for Telefonica. We we don't do that. So we focus uh, we focus on smaller teams, and uh, I guess the promise is, is is similar. So that we probably also within a year or so we can also double the throughput you now of people with the same people. But we also do it with almost no, with very, very light interventions. And I think that might be a bit of a, distinct, a distinction with some other approaches where we have, we have a very light, light touch. So we're actually focusing on what people are already doing and helping them with that instead of doing a long phase where people have to work for us. So we then understand their system. And then we're going to tell them how they can do it better. I said, no, 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 you already know your system. We don't know it. We don't want to know everything. We just want to know what you need to, to make a next step. Um, and, that, and that seems to work pretty well. So what we, we do see, and that's also consistent with some people who do more in value network stuff or in, 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 in really good coaching. Um, Thank you so much, Vincent. Um, at the end, let's uh, listen to Wolfram Müller, the founder of the Blue Dolphin Network, uh, how he describes um, his network. Okay, what is Blue Dolphin? I think Blue Dolphin is the first and the really first uh, worldwide community of people who want to do self-organized changes based on theory of constraint. Okay, and what is this? Um, in the end, a theory of constraints is all about getting more output in a very short time without adding pressure to the people and additional resources. That's theory of constraints. And the self-organization part is um, coming to this point, even in huge organization, in a very, very fast way. Um, and our aim as Dolphins is, of course, to share this knowledge and make it available to as many organizations as possible around the world. So our service is being a community, exchanging ideas, exchanging experience, and make this happen. Um, there are friends of Blue Dolphin, that's uh, uh, the smallest version. Uh, there you get invitations to our gatherings, you get a newsletter, you get coffee breaks, small information bites. Um, and of course, you get all the support you need to get it started. And there is, of course, uh, a paid membership. And if, if you are a paid member, then you get additionally service. You get access to the whole community, to the whole uh, network of dolphins with all their experience and knowledge how to do it. Um, there will be question and answer sessions. Um, 
there will be coffee breaks even more and better ones there will be knowledge updates if someone learns something um, and you get access to our whole body of knowledge that's something around two gigabytes of data it's books it's pdfs articles um, it's small videos and, and useful links and even excel tools to get started right away so uh, we have access to the whole body of knowledge of the whole blue dolphin network and that's very valuable by the way and and the third part of course and the third services if you want to really get started um, sometimes you need to convince your boss and we are helping in this and sometimes it's a little better to have some guidance some coaching through the blue dolphin process to really get your success as fast as possible and of course me as blue dolphin we offer help in this so we are a community uh, from the beginning to the end um, just to make you successful and your company if you want to join it's very easy just open browser type in https slash slash um, blue minus dolphin dot world and there's a contact formula just get in contact and uh, you're welcome to swim with us in the ocean as a blue dolphin.